hey guys welcome back to my channel it's on Goy here and if you're new to my channel i create content around cooking cleaning and organization i also do other in the life vlogs and hauls is a grocery haul one of the most requested videos lately because i haven't done one in a very long time so i decided to do this and since inflation happened i haven't done a grocery haul and let me tell you things are thick things are thick we are about to starve to death because the economy is not allowing us to shop and eat anyway i shopped for everything that i needed for the house and i'm going to show with you i'm going to start with the toiletries and then to the food items and that will be it i hope you enjoyed this haul and if you do please make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't make sure your post notifications are turned on so that every time i upload a video you are among my first subscribers to get a notification notification i've just gotten my receipt out because today i i couldn't cram these prices they were all different from what i am used to so i might need to confirm from my receipt but yeah and just before i continue i wanted to mention that i went to quick match today because honestly i just wanted to shop there i know it's a little bit expensive but i was going there because i needed black forest cake yeah let me excuse but anyway it's not so different from the other uh, supermarkets around me so it was all good we will see how much i spent at the end of the video but let's keep going starting us off is this velvex 10 roll pack of toilet paper which cost me 425 shillings of course it has gone up so high but yeah this is where we are at and yeah we will just keep going and next up in the toiletries list is this velvex premium kitchen towel i love the white one basically because it's clean i don't know i don't like colored toilet paper or kitchen towel whatever so i bought this and this was 290 shillings it's usually 250 they are about but today 290 is what we paid and then Still going on in the toiletry section, I got this Nivea lotion. This was this lotion was 490 and it came with a little baby pearl and beauty roll-on, which I think is a good deal. So yeah, some lotion. And I got some panty liners, the Cortex non-deodorized ones. The 40 pack cost me 170 shillings. So I got the Hanan flushable water wipes and these were 200 shillings. It's a pack of 72 wipes. I keep this in the bathroom to freshen up and stay clean. So yeah, so some wipes. Then I got the Glade air freshener in morning freshness. I love how this one smells and it cost me 300 shillings. So I think it's value for money. It's a bit expensive than the other regular air fresheners in the supermarket, but a little goes a long way for sure, for sure. I got Jeep. Jeep Lemon Fresh. This was 250 for 700 ml of Jeep. There was an offer for buying two, but I didn't need to, and that would have meant I would have spent more money. So I chose to stick with the 750 ml for 250 shillings. So I got the Morning Fresh Super Concentrate Orange and Tea Tree Antibacterial Dish Washing Liquid. This cost me 280 shillings. It comes with a Baby Morning Fresh Scoring Powder. So I think a bit of value here but yeah i love this one it smells nice and it's what i've been buying for the longest time so dishwashing liquid then i got the magni kitchen cleaner you guys know i swear by this it works perfectly on my cooktop on my stove top and it's really nice for removing greasy food whatever anything any surface that is greasy and grimy use this and please come back and let me know how it works for you so yeah so i got the magnet kitchen cleaner and it's an antibacterial action jam killer and this cost me 224 shillings this will last me probably two months because i just need like a small spritz and it's enough to clean my entire stove top and we keep going 
we keep going then i got the cuddles fabric softener and conditioner this cost me 225 shillings it's gone up a few shillings so i think everything has just gone up at this point everything has just gone up salt matchbox everything has gone up but yeah so i got some cuddles for my clothes and i got this hand wash which is the blue king the blue king hand wash i love it because it's very gentle i really don't like anything that has a strong scent so this is why i got this one and it cost me let me see she costs 200 shillings so yeah this is a spare one i have one going it's almost halfway so i might not need to buy hand wash maybe for the next month or two yeah to have enough for a while then i got menengai cream bar this is one of those things that has gone exorbitantly up <laughs> that we might just not buy at this point so i got this because my mama who likes to use this for washing my clothes together with a uh, detergent so i got the 1kg one it cost me 205 shillings then then i got the sufficient disinfectant in lavender fresh i love this one so much it leaves my house smelling super nice so i had to get it and this was 125 shillings and we are almost done with the toiletries then i got the aerial original in 1kg and this was 360 shillings up from god knows the last time i bought this thing was 290 so please someone explain to me why these things are just this expensive anyway i understand that everything has gone up so at this point we're just agreeing to everything going up but man it's hard it's hard so yeah so ariel for my clothes and floors as well last but not least in my toiletry section is the nivea antiperspirant fresh cherry i love the deodorant spray so i had to get the deodorant so i had to get the roll-on to use together with that spray because it is super hot super super hot you might need to layer on deo and spray and all of those things so i had to get it this was 360 shillings if i am not wrong oh it was actually cheaper it was 297 shillings i think it was an offer or something i am not sure so yeah so that is all i got from the toiletry section i'm just gonna get all these things off and then i'll come back and show you what i got from the food section So we continue with our haul and now on to the food section. I'm just going to pick whatever is on the top so that we can finish this haul as soon as possible. So to start us off is the Heroes Potato Crisps. I love the salted ones. I don't like any potatoes that are flavored. <laughs> I prefer potatoes as they come, just salted. These were 50 shillings each, so 100 bucks for two. Then I got some chicken wings. I always buy chicken wings from the cooked chicken wings from Quick Mart. They are nice. They are really nice. So I got this for dinner tonight because after everything that I've gone through today and the shock of my life that I have gone through today, I needed to treat myself to some chicken wings. Anyway, let's continue. I got the Daima milk. This was 52 shillings up from something 48, 47. So some milk two packets to last me a while i'm not taking tea as much i don't know why but it's just so hot it's just so hot that's why then i got some eden tea bags this were 125 shillings for this entire bag of eden tea plain tea bags i really wanted the lemon flavored ones but they didn't have them in stock so i just had to settle for this which is equally as good so i might just use them as i wait to find the lemon ones so yeah then I got some Indomie noodles. These were 115 shillings. The chicken flavor, just for those lazy lunches. I don't know how this ended up here, but anyway, I guess it's because it belongs to the kitchen. I guess I don't know, but yeah, I got these Kleenex, Kleenex serviettes, napkins. Where are we? Are we in the UK or are we in the US? If we are in the UK, then it's serviettes or is it napkins? No, I don't know. I can't. I cannot remember. That. If we are in the UK, it's 
napkins. No, if we are in the UK, it's Harriet. If we are in the US, it's napkins. Tell me, all my fellow writers, please tell me. You guys know I eat these things. Literally, I eat these things. I must have serviettes all over because I hate to have my hands wet. I just got a pack because I just opened another one, so I have enough for the month. And then, oh, the serviettes were 95 shillings. Then I got some pick and peel pineapple juice. This is my absolute favorite juice. So if you're ever coming to visit me, just bring me this and that's it. That, that's it. I don't want anything else. I love this juice so much. It was 230 shillings. Then I got myself some chevda, which was 153 shillings up from 150 bob. So hmm, a bit expensive, but since it's one of my favorite snacks, I had to get just a pack to last me a while together with the crisp. Then I got the Royal Umbrella Coconut Cream. This was 300 shillings. I usually buy this to make maybe some chicken in coconut sauce or maybe some coconut dengue curry. Any dish that need, any dish that needs coconut cream, I buy this. And then I got some Dawat traditional basmati rice. I bought this today. Um, I was looking for pearl basmati. It was there, but it was so expensive. It was almost 600 shillings. And I was like, no, I must save the 50 bob difference between this and that. So I got this. It's equally as good. As long as you understand how to make this rice rices, if I may say, then you're good to go. So today I picked the Dawat. And then from the Dawat family too, I got the Dawat pasta fusilli. I love this one so much for mincemeat recipes and just to, you know, something to substitute with the rice, you know. So I got this pack. This was, how much was this? I cannot remember for the life of me. These are not things I buy all the time. So I might not always remember. So these were 180 shillings. So I think it's a good deal, even though they are not much. Then I got the Haynes Squeezy, Haynes Squeezy Tomato Ketchup. This was 204. Usually it's like 180 shillings. So yeah, at this point, everything has gone up. Guys, I don't think I'm going to do another grocery haul. I might as well not eat. Because what are these prices? What are these prices? And then there's sugar, 1 kg. This cost me 138 shillings extremely too much extremely exorbitantly incredibly too much anyway we'll, we'll still eat god will provide then i got some popcorn this cost me 200 and something and i was so pissed at this because popcorn is my absolute favorite favorite snack and why the hell am i buying popcorn for this much 245 shillings usually it's 200 210 so yeah few more times there then i got some salt finally finally i found my favorite salt which is the top chef salt and it cost me 30 shillings for this small pack i didn't find a bigger one otherwise i would have picked the bigger one but no worries that will work then i got some mabuyu from from their whatever what do you call them their snacks section yeah this was these are Mabuyu Zanzibar and they were 180 shillings. There are so many inside, so a bit more snacks. I am really snacky right now. I don't know if it's the anxiety I'm going through <laughs> or it's just, I don't know, like I'm, I'm snacking a lot, which is not good, but we're in that season, right? We're in that season of snacking. We're still trying to eat healthy, but yeah, we're in the season of snacking. And talking about snacks, I got cake. This is what took me to cook mat their black forest cake it is one of the best in you know these supermarket cakes this one and kaffles they are the best black forest cakes so i had to get a piece and it was 160 bucks so some cake that will be dessert after the chicken wings if i show up here with no waste you guys understand what happened all right then now let me show you the fresh food section uh i got two small tubs of yogurts these were 73 shillings each and i got two they've gone up they're usually 67 68 69 shillings now they're 73 shillings and this is the pear and caramel from delamere so some yogurts for snacking because we are just snacking in this house 
Then I got some smokies. This one were 180 shillings. This is the 10 pack, I think. This is the 10 pack smokies. So I don't feel like I need a lot of those. I I don't know. I've fallen out of love with smokies, so I'm not buying them as much as before. But yeah, that's the season we are in. Then I got the beef safari sausages from Farmer's Choice. These were 345 shillings. They are one, two, three, four, five. They are ten sausages. My absolute favorite. If you've been watching me for a while, then you know that I love the beef safari sausages, and I don't like spicy sausages. Come beat me or kill me. I don't care. <laughs> Anyway, next up, I got some chicken wings and these were 300 shillings for the entire pack. They are like, what, like eight or nine chicken wings. So some chicken wings. I also got some minced chicken breast, which was 200 shillings. I intend to make this with some peas and carrots and some rice. I will share the recipe, don't you worry, I will share the recipe. Then I got beef charcoal bone. This was 320 shillings for the entire bone, beef on bone chunk, whatever they call it. And then I got the Farmer's Choice Streaky Bacon. This is the 200 grams and this cost me 390 shillings. I've missed bacon so much. I had to buy some. And then last but not least, no, we still have another item. Then I got some fish fillets. These are two fish fillets. They are really tall or I don't know, they are really big. And this was 400 shillings. I am trying to eat uh, more fish because of, you know, my head. <laughs> I don't want to go but <laughs> anyway I have just missed fish don't listen to my jokes I've just missed fish so I had to buy fish fillet <laughs> then I got uh, minced beef this was 200 shillings for my pasta to go with my pasta and that's it yeah that is basically it do I have anything else that I got I think I have some chocolates here where are they I got a sneaker bar, the double sneaker bar. Today it was 128 shillings. Anything one of our boys picking up, there's that. And then, last but not least, I got the Obit, Obit Raspberry Blast. This is my favorite chewing gum, so I had to buy it. 180 shillings. It has 14 pellets, so it lasts me like a whole two weeks. Yeah, so that is my entire grocery haul. It should last me the month even more for some items. I might need to buy a few things like the fresh foods. I don't even have any vegetables here, so I still have a lot more to buy. But for the basic essentials, I think I have enough. I think I have enough for the month or at least six weeks. Yeah. So anyway, let's talk business now. Let's talk mathematics. Let's see how much we spent today. So my budget today was 10,000 shillings and it's because I knew I didn't have so many things in the house and I knew I was going to buy a lot more than I usually do, especially with the meats. So I had planned to spend 10,000 shillings and I spent 10,000 shillings, 115 shillings. So please clap for me. I didn't go off a budget. Well, I did 100 shillings and let's blame that on what? What can we blame on the 100 shillings? The sneaker bag. Yeah, if I didn't pick this, I would have been within my budget. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I spent 10k. Let's just say 10k is a bit too much for someone that lives alone. But my heart goes out to the people with kids and they're paying school fees. And the kids have closed school now, so they're eating double as much. I'm, I'm actually praying for you guys. Honestly, life is becoming so hard. Things are just so expensive. We have to work twice as much. Honestly, like I've had to take up so many jobs just to sustain my lifestyle. <laughs> and it's not easy, but what do we do? That's the best that we can. We just work hard. We try and, you know, make enough for us and for others that might need our help, right? Yeah, so anyway guys, that is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed the grocery haul. I did it in quite a hurry because it's already getting so dark and I need to work. I need to 
finish today's work but anyway i'm happy that now we have a grocery haul after a very long time i hope you guys enjoyed let's chat down in the comments i know life is not just hard for me i know we are struggling in the supermarkets so please let's cry down in the comment section and just try and help each other and see where we can get these things for cheaper and where we can save or where we can you know try and you know put aside a few coins right yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the grocery haul and if you did please make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't make sure your post notifications are turned on and share this video with your friends i am sure they will like it and they will subscribe and they will join us they will grow this community right yeah so until next time guys bye